He's involved in his second. Whether in winning two unification fights. And then now a Hall of Famer. Abs to the body. First among welterweights, throws sixth per round, second among welterweights, so he has to go as well with this. I'm going to look for the fight, and right now we're seeing a little bit of... Jab of Spence. There's a... Ugas known for that hardy for Spence. Spence and six for Ugas, so... That was not... At moment, Spence obviously... Oh, and that's, is that something that Ugas is really good? Actually, to... To counter punch a jab. Last time Spence lost was in the two bronze medal at the tooth. Is that right hand? Spence, this is his third fight at 84 outings. And immediately they stabs. Half the amount of punches and ended a couple more. Now, that the counter puncher in that first round and pulled him back straight to waiting for Spence moments and who got with the countering. Brooke, and then ordered the common opponent decision. September 29th strap, Ugas lost a highly contentious split decision. The thing they have in common is that both those fights were sure thin and great effort in both fights. Well to eight uh, matches. Spence landed a left hand up here in the second. There's a shot. Yeah, really sharp shooting right now from Spence's jab. Straight to the body, there we go. Basics, but it's really good. And Spence looking to put Ugas on his back foot. Ugas guard and smiling and of the truth. One of the 32 punches in this round. He's oh. been very... That's a chance to land an uppercut. Well, very interesting that you said that. It's a... Round at number three. Coming to who's making mistakes right now. Errol Spence really setting up that oh, jump to the body. He'll, he'll throw it to the body here and then they'll yep. put it right back. So there's yeah, who got some over though trying to land that uppercut. Oh, uh, score with that right cross to high level. He did chess between Spence and Ugas. And Spence now beginning to, again the high guard of Ugas blocking all of them. A short left uppercut. He's a tough man to deal with, and that's what he's doing right now. And right there is when you know what he's thinking. He's left, he saw he didn't land. Again, Spence in the left hook behind it again. Ugas from distance looking to land the uppercut. Fight, and uh, he hopes that that pays dividends. Yes, that scores. Left hand lands, another left and another left. And really, Spence muting offense here in the third round out. Getting off first on almost too much. And there's that right hook. And Yeah, I said a double right hook. He did a again gets popped as Spence splits back with a combination. A thunderous right hand and another Spence. Spence has been down as a round. Proven to be a thriller as Ugas in a toe. Hey! Still on his face. Hey, hey, man. There's more indication. Fun. That landed for Ugas toward the end of that round. It's Lee Salas saying do more of that. But it can't be overstated. Mm. What a go through each other for even more glory. Yeah, it's a very good point. You're trying to throw more of those rights. Spence is a better chance to, to land. Way better. Spence is the aggress. Has Ugas stumped back with anything, so Spence has to keep that volume. And Spence and blocking, avoiding that left, but Spence beginning to really find a rhythm. It was an advent, a, 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 it didn't quite get more of it. Oh, that was a little low, but right to the face, and now Spence going really I'd work that I'm liking right now. Yeah. And has that sufficient distance for Ugas, 12 of his 27. Off and everything he felt, and they said as they got close to this fight, he said, we got it into in camp, 12 weeks. And his last three fights, right. his last knockout, in fact, leading the star in Frisco, Carlos Ocampo. We were there uh, up in June of 2018. That's of a career long 11 fight KO streak. Yes, yes. counter-opportunity was counter. right there. Yeah. He's Ugas, and he drew the ire of Derek James when said, that isn't the same since the car accident. Mm -hmm. And now, of course, coming back from the die, and, and that Abner is you to be an even better version of himself. What do you think so far? Uh, I'm seeing it. I mean, when was the last time he's a body? He is prepared, ripped, he's ready for this fight. So those are little things that you... First time using a nutritionist. Yes. Yep. Left uppercut, right hook, and again. 
So the condition is going to be there. You're going to Ugas getting oh. absorbing the shot. Oh, and there's a right hook to the backing up in Texas, even if Spence misses by it. And those were three good yeah. punches. But look at the rhythm that now. It's a really nice lift in the fifth. You know, Ugas is fighting a chest to chest head down. Wow. That may not answer for him. Well, this is the best right now. Ugas fight. But Spence beginning to break down Ugas. And I keep saying, he throws one, you throw one of his. Despite the fact that, you know, that there are levels to this, and Ugas now trying to fire back, but he'll... And he's not there. Yeah, where's it? On the inside, like a phone booth, that's not... You're going to choose for that oh, fight. There's a... And the lack mm -hmm. of big issue right yes. now. Combination by Ugas. Spence did cut lands for the truth arrow Spence, and now Ugas tries to... And does so to the body. Mm. Fantastic fifth. Opportunity back, trying to get success back, and look where it's brought. The, the very close a loss to uh, Sean Porter mixed in there. He is now at a, at a pivotal point. He is making something happen in this fight. Yeah, he's trying, but it's a move that I have to always have. You can't. You got to change one of you. Well, he's he's cutting the distance. He's getting too close. He's... But again, Uga's Ryder, he's been here before. You, you got to know how to change the. the... And they're just standing right in front of each other. That right hand hurts. Spence, Spence is sitting. Uga. Wow. A momentary lapse in judgment. Smiling. Some drama from oh, yeah. your Dennis Ugas. And really the first time adversity in a long time. Yeah, he's never been down there. Never been down. I don't think I've ever yeah. seen him. Yeah, almost look not felt to getting his feet back under. When he waits for the opportunity. I, I wonder if it, I out and then there was this. Mm. Quick Pierce coming back, but it definitely seemed to break the concentration of Spence. And Spence trying to come back into the round here. The ebb and flow of two of the best. Fantastic. What do they have in store for us for the second of this champion? Ugas has won. Terrence Crawford has the other unofficial score of the Hall of Famer, Steve Farr. Well, a uh, uh, punch that hurt, clearly hurt Spence. The first round, I agree, did not rule that the ropes kept happened. I gave it to Spence. He was winning each round since by a bigger margin till the sixth. Round for Errol Spence, really. Gosh, it's incumbent upon him to do something. Yeah. Spence continues to work to keep him at bed jab, but Spence able to close the distance. And now Ugas staggers him momentarily with the right, but Spence goes on with the. For the Ugas, I mean Spence. Nearly swelled shot again, walking down Ugas, landing the left uppercut right to the body. And I mean, here Spence worked the body, ripped the body, uppercuts. I mean, the punches are going as good of a guard that Ugas has, though. Has simply not thrown a lot of punch of note because he's not, he's, he's dormant offensively. Meanwhile, they've combined to three, are in the opening minute of the eighth, and Spence left hand over the ranking, his momentum. The Spence going right down. hook. The variety of yeah. punches and the variety of the combination Spence is his punches, uppercut, body shot, hook, body. I mean, this guy, those punches come in because they're coming. Spence Jr. showing explicitly this kind of crowd in a venue this size. He is putting on how much longer with this yeah. kind of assault by Errol Spence Jr. Spence's left punches in this round, and, and, and it's over for kind of what he's throwing. And he's, it is all one-way traffic <laughs> for Errol slowing his legs after he is up. For the couple of rounds, he has one punch, and guess what? Spence comes back for four with four or five punches. 
Welton fight between two Belmier and Denis Ugas is in a tenuous position at this Muffingham with strikes. We mentioned how well Ugas has done against lefty one record, but tonight, uh, it, if that's the major factor, it's just Spence. He's been around for Spence. If he continues to so effectively, and especially look. in that up. I hate to say, but. Clubbing right hooks down the middle. And he continues to tee to fend off. Needed to do it, but this round he's used way and better. And those right hooks natural, really. Three of your Denny Zuga's four defeats were by split decision. He's in hand against Spence in the body. Tween. Final minute of the ninth. And back comes Zugas with a body, but as you mentioned, Al. Yeah. That's for him to land. As he's, he's, he's been a staple of 147 and Mr. Yordanis Uga in the closing seconds of the ninth. 11. As you mentioned, Fuckman, he's landing for everything other than the jab. He normally lands 47. I'm sorry, he normally lands. Right to the button. Knockout pass round. It is looking more and more likely that he is going to have to land something major. He's in trouble. Yeah, he's he's hurt. hurt. And a reminder to people. Mm -hmm. oh. And you wonder just how much now for your Denny Zorb. I don't think much by now. Well, well Ross fires up. The eye almost come. The right eye almost. And it's Junior intent on shutting down the title reign of your Denny Zuga. Can you, you can't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 